cut off by Good afternoon. Welcome, friends. This is part of the Mumbaikar Global Inspiring Interview Series. Today, we have Ajitesh Nair, chess prodigy. He will be interviewed by our own Mumbaikar senior, Kanu Gandhi. Chess. Chess helps children in reading and cognitive ability, as well as it helps all of us, whether you are in job or business, in planning, strategizing, executing. Chess especially helps elderly. It reduces the chances of Alzheimer by 75%. So chess is the game. Kanu Gandhi has over 10 years of experience in chess coaching. And he has 30 years experience as financial analyst in banking industry. Kanu Gandhi knows his numbers and he knows his moves. So without further delay, I'll have Kanu Gandhi and our chess prodigy on the screen. Hello, friends. I am Kanu Gandhi, a chess coach from Plano, Texas. Today, I am feeling really very proud to introduce a very young chess genius, Ajitesh Nair. Please allow me to welcome Ajitesh Nair, along with his parents, Archana Kotarat and Subhash Nair. Hi, Ajitesh. How are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. All right. Before we start talking to this young genius, let us let me give a, a little brief of this great game of chess. This game originated from India. There is a board of 64 squares and there are two teams of 16 pieces each. In fact, there are two armies and 64 square is the battleground. Our ancient kings used to play this board game. Now it is one of the most popular games all over the world. In US alone, there are 25 to 30 million people play chess. It's a big industry. The most fascinating about this game is the 32 pieces and the 64 squares create almost unlimited number of probabilities. Because of the unlimited number of probabilities, the one who achieves high ranking in this game is known as a genius. To judge one's proficiency, there is a ranking system. The world champs like Magnus Carlsen has reached the ranking of about 2,900, while the artificial intelligence has reached the ranking of about 3,300 to, to 3,400. Ajitesh has achieved a remarkable ranking of nearing 1,928 at such a young age of 11. That is why he is a true genius. First, I would like to talk to Ajitesh's parents, Archanaji and Subhashti. So tell us, Archanaji, 
And Subhashji, when did you spot the talent in Ajithes? How did you know that the chess was for him? So when um, Ajitesh was just a kid, he was like four to five years old. And that's where we saw that he was more like an introvert than an extrovert. And he used to remember a lot of things. So whenever we go outside, uh, he used to watch a lot of things. And when we come back home, he used to tell us about what are the things he has watched. So what I thought is he remembers a lot of things and maybe chess is a game for him. So let's try a chess game for him and see how he, he goes along with it. So that's how we introduce agitation to chess. Oh, great. And Archana ji, what do you want to say? So we had our family friend, uh, Srinivas Kotaru, who was actually uh, teaching chess in our neighborhood. And so we spoke to him and took Ajitesh to there, um, to Srinivas. And that is when he started playing chess. And then he started building the interest in chess. And then we started taking him to the tournaments. And uh, that, has, uh, that is how he got introduced to chess. Oh, great. Wonderful. Uh, so what would you advise to other parents who want to put their kids into chess? So, That's an idea. Mm -hmm. uh, we, would, we would advise them to spot talent, uh, whatever, whatever talent they have, whatever they are good at, and support them in those skills. That would really help them and uh, to pursue their careers and to achieve their goals. Oh, great. Uh, can you explain to the parents how it has helped you to bring up the younger son, Sarvesh Nair? Yeah, sure. So basically, Ajitesh is my elder one. He's 11 years old. And we have a younger one, Sarvesh Nair. He's eight years old. So when Ajit started playing chess at the age of six, and then he started getting trophies. Um, so Sarvesh wanted those trophies. And, um, and I told him, like, you know, you just cannot get trophies just like that. You need to earn it. And uh, he started asking me questions. He was very small. He was just three or four years old. And he started asking me, OK, what I need to do in order to get those trophies? And I'm like, you need to play chess. You need to learn that game. And then I'll take you to also the tournaments. And then you can also uh, get those trophies. So the good thing is, because of Aji, uh, my younger one, Sarvesh, also got introduced in chess at a very uh, early age, at, at the age of four. I introduced Sarvesh into chess, and now he's also started playing chess and getting trophies. All right, thank you very much, Ajnaji and Subhashji, for your wonderful suggestions. And I'm sure that Sarvesh is another champion in being now. Uh, so this will definitely help the parents to support their kids in whatever career they are interested in. Now, coming to our young master, Ajitesh Nair. So, Ajitesh, at what age did you start the chess? Um, I was at six. I was six years old, and I was in first grade when my dad, when I first got introduced to the game. Okay, great. And how did you get interested in chess? So, first, my dad uh, brought me to a uh, sixty-four squares academy, chess academy, and uh, at first. When I looked at the chessboard, I was very uh, puzzled at how okay. the pieces moved, how the, okay. mm -hmm. coin, the pieces on the board moved. So eventually, um, I, I lost to everyone in the academy because I was a beginner and I started chess a little bit later than them. So they had more experience and they played, uh, they played better than me. So eventually, my dad started coaching me a little bit. Um, maybe until I was like, it was on, it was until I was 600. He started coaching me and, uh, I started improving at the game. And eventually, uh, my coach, uh, Srini was Kotaru. Uh, he was my coach until maybe 1200. And he, he brought me to, he told my parents to bring me to chess tournaments. And I started playing in those tournaments and I improved very quickly. Oh, wow. That's great. And I'm sure you must have won lots of trophies in the awards. Can you tell us about that a little bit? Oh, uh, yes. So I have a house full of trophies. Um, I got them from different levels. Like I won state okay. once. Uh, okay. I got top 20 in nationals. So uh, now I can share my screen and show you the trophies. Oh, wow. 
So this was me, my trophy in the Nationals. I got uh, 20th, tied for 20th place in the Nationals, which was last year. Um, this trophy I also got last year uh, before COVID. I got first place in uh, regionals. So that's like a, in, in Texas, in my age category, I got first place. And then here's a, here's a, this is a shelf full of my trophies that I, that I won. Here's second place. Uh, this is my, this was when I was in, uh, this was when I was seven or seven, seven years old. I, I, I was in under 500 because I was a beginner and here I got second place. This is again my shelf for trophies of our keep. And these are all trophies that I've won. Oh, great. Great, enormous trophies, enormous trophies, yeah. So now you like to come, come to your world record. So tell us about how did you create the world record, Ajitesh? So it was um, it, the tournament that I played in was the online World Open. It was an uh, online tournament in August this year, 2020. August uh, August 7th through 9th was the date. So um, on August 9th, which was the last day of the tournament in the seventh round, I was playing against uh, national master Lyndon Lee. He is a 2200 player. He was, um, and since I was higher ranked, I was a uh, lower ranked than him at the time because I was only 1800 at that time and he was 2200. So, but I had white pieces, so I was uh, trying not to lose. So what happened in that game was he, um, we reached a end game position. Uh, I reached an end game comfortably and we started trading pieces. Um, and then I offered him a draw three times, but since he was um, the higher rated player, he he didn't want to accept the draw because he's high rated. If he if he draws or loses to me, then he's gonna go down. So he tried to beat me, but in the end, um, the computer declared it a draw after 319 moves because uh, because because of the three move repetition. It was the game was really long and it was. And we reached the same position three times, um, and it was the game was four and a half hours long. So I can show you that game. Let me just share my screen. Okay, okay great, great. So yeah, would you show your game, please? Yeah. Okay, so this is E4. It's an opening that I play. It's it's called the King's Pawn game, and then it depends on what the opponent plays. Like he played C5 here, so Sicilian is the opening. And there's different lines in Sicilian. I'm not going to name them all, but yeah. Um, so this is just the opening part. We traded uh, knights here and we started slowly developing our bounces. And I started trying to get active here my pieces here we had a couple of trades so here each position is very important because if you blunder anything you might lose the game so wherever you're placing those pieces uh, is very important that's called the positional moves so you have to be very careful and that's the reason they give you a lot of time to think and make those moves so now we are in the almost the end game where they are uh, trying to where uh, Lyndon Lee is trying to win the game with his queen and Aji is trying to um, trade the pieces because queen is very important point and it's it's it, if he trades queen then uh, he has an advantage of at least drawing the game with a with a bishop end game. But as you see, when Aji is trying to trade the piece, Lyndon Lee is trying to avoid it. He's trying to avoid his queen. But Aji is adamant to go after him to get those trading done because that trading is very important for Aji. So he goes after him, goes after his queen to get those trading done. 
and eventually um, you know you see here in this move where the trading is done the queen is being traded and now they are left with a uh, bishop um, on different colors and three pawns so each of them they have the three pawns here and they are trying to um, Lyndon Lee here is trying to see whatever he can do uh, to achieve uh, a queen so he will try to push his black pawn pieces and um, that's where Aji comes in with his king and tries to block it. But then uh, Lyndon Lee uh, takes his bishop all around the board, trying to see if he can uh, in any way take up the pawn. So here in this move, he sacrifices one of the pawn, Ajitesh, because he has to draw the game. And that was a sacrifice he did, which was one of those intelligent moves he did at the end. And now he cannot do anything. He's handicapped. He is just going on. Uh, he's not even drawing the game and finally it went on till 319 moves and he, Lyndon Lee could not do anything because Aji is damn sure about it. He is protecting all his white spaces with the white bishop and uh, finally it um, ended in a draw. So these are the all the moves that he's played and it, it goes all the way till the end. So you can see like all these moves they make and it, it with, the game went on for like four and a half hours. And for these four and a half hours, they are totally onto the screen with no breaks, uh, trying to see how best they can uh, win the game or draw the game. So finally, this game ended in the draw. And after here, the computer claimed it as a draw. Amazing, amazing game, right? And it's an amazing game and it's an amazing world record. And to sit in front of the computer screen for more than four hours, my God. Yeah, and then on an average, if you see all these uh, games played by the Grandmasters, it goes for around 40 to 60 moves. Oh, wow. So very few times you will find games going beyond 60 moves. And this game went for 319 moves. And that's how it became a world record. World record. Because the previous world record, it was um, 269 moves. And that was 200 years back, where they played for 20 hours. Wow. So, so that's how I started communicating with the US Chess Federation. And uh, I wrote emails to them. And then Limca Book of Records, the Guinness Book of Records. And they have told me that it will take at least four to six weeks to uh, come back to me uh, to issue the certificate to him. OK, great. So Ajitesh, how do you feel creating the world record? Yeah, it feels uh, good um, because uh, right, right after I finish my game, um, my dad asked me, uh, are you done with your game? I said, yeah. And he said it, it went four and a half hours long. I said, yeah. So he sa he asked me, how many moves was your game? So I said, 319 moves long. So then um, me and my dad searched up on my computer uh, what was the world record for the longest game ever played in chess history. So it, we found out that it was uh, 269 moves was the longest game that was ever played, and it was uh, over 200 years ago. Wow. So, and th and so after that, um, my dad contacted uh, Guinness Book of World Records and Limco Book of World Records, and he emailed them about my record. Wow! Great, 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 wonderful. All right. So and. What's your aim now? How do you where you to go further from this? Now, now I want to go to Grandmasters, my final goal. But uh, before before that, uh, I'm setting small steps, small goals on the way. So first, so now since I'm 1920, uh, now I'm trying to reach 2,000, another 80 points away. So then I can have a chance of becoming a candidate master. And then after that, uh, my next goal after that is 2,200, which is National Master. Then uh, 2,300, V-Day Master. 2,400, uh, International Master. And then 2,500, uh, Grand Master. So all these, all these uh, GM and IM, those are uh, titles that you get in chess. Once you get like a above 2000 if you get certain levels in chess and norms you can get titles okay uh huh and grand grandmaster is the final title that you get wow okay mm -hmm. right okay so now uh, 
So how do you? So I mean, are you still practicing? How many hours do you practice now? I used to not well on the weekends. Uh, I practice four to six hours a day because I have time. But on the weekends, since I have school, so I I I do one to two hours on the weekdays. Okay, great. So some more information. Uh, where do you practice? On board or online? Um, I practice online and on the board. So sometimes on, on over the board, on the board, I play with myself. Uh, sometimes with my brother, sometimes my dad. I play with different my friends sometimes. And uh, online, I play with my friends online. I play with the computers online. I play with, uh, and I do puzzles a lot. That also helps improve my tactical skills in the game. And I also watch uh, top players' games, how they win their games, like uh, Magnus Carlsen, like how he wins his games. I see top players. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's great. And now you are a great champion. Are you still taking some coaching? And so if you can give some idea, are you still simply taking some coaching and where from? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, now, now, nowadays, I don't take coaching. I, I used to take coaching until like 15 and 1600, but then eventually I stopped. And now, now how I practice is I do it online mostly. I do it on chess.com and chesskid.com. So those are very helpful uh, sites that, uh, that can help you improve your chess because they have games online that you can play and also chess puzzles. So I'll share my screen and show you those sites. Okay, great. Yeah, just so just show us, please. Yeah. Can so, you see the screen? Yes, yes. I think we are seeing the screen. Oh. Yeah. So, this is chess.com. It's a live chat. This is a server, so you can, uh, you can, if this is the place where you can get games against, see, I got random, you get random opponents. So and then um and then here if you want to play a friend online then you can do this you can, and then uh puzzles the puzzle section is over here this is my puzzle and so then, if you see the puzzle rating 8636 um he is in the top 20 in the world top 10 of 10, 15 or 20 in the world um, most of the international masters and grandmasters, uh, they have a rating of around 4,000 or 4,500 in chess puzzles. So Ajitesh also, his goal is to top in the puzzles. And he has still now reached uh, 8,636 in the chess puzzle rating. And there are around 33 million members in chess.com. So uh, it's, again, a big achievement to come in the top 15 uh, of those um, members. Oh, amazing, amazing, yeah, that's great. So here you can, if you hover over this and then you can watch games like this, you can watch top players that are playing right now. You can watch their games. So this is uh, another grandmasters playing against each other. Um, so you and can then, watch those grandmaster games. And then you can also watch a computer championship. That was, that this is uh, computers playing each other. So if you see there is uh, Stockfish and uh, LCO, Stockfish has a rating of around 3,800 nowadays. Um, so it's a very high rated uh, artificial intelligence robots uh, playing chess. So you can watch them also and use that as uh, for practice as well. And then uh, Chess Kid. Here is a Chess Kid site. So this is where you can you play, you, you play games. This is the server. There's time controls that you could choose. And then there's puzzles here that you can do that help your knowledge mm -hmm. amazing oh wonderful so, so thank you very much Ajitesh, for giving your time and very valuable advices to test lovers and thank you subhasji thank you asanaji and uh, wishing wishing Ajitesh, you fulfill your dreams and become crown master and even go beyond Thank you. Thank you, Kranoji. And uh, thank you, Vinay, for hosting this and uh, bringing us on this uh, live show. Thank you very much. Thank yes. you. Yeah. Over to, over to our uh, Vinay Bhai Shah, please.
I'm uh, sorry uh, for that technical glitch, but what an inspiring interview. We had uh, Kanu Gandhi, we had Ajitesh Nair, the chess prodigy. You are yeah. nobody can hear. Ajitesh Nair, and uh, it's so inspiring, right? So we want to know about your or your child's accomplishment, and we would all get inspired. It doesn't have to be world level accomplishment. So we look forward to see your accomplishment again in this series, inspiring interview series. You can write us an email at mumbaikarglobal at gmail.com or you can call Kanan Shah at 214-766-4343 or Hardik Khan Supada at 214-228-8533. Chess is a wonderful game and I am sure you all of us get inspired either to start playing or start learning. See you in another similar program pretty soon. Signing off. Thank you.